Now that I've designed my collet and receiver, I'm going to put them into the assembly and then design a plate to hold them. So I'm going to go to the assembly tab. I'm going to select insert components. I've kept them both open. So I'm going to hold shift and select them both. Come out and click. To place the collet. Click again to place the receiver. And now I don't want to see this sketch. So I'm going to select it and just hide the sketch. Next thing I wanted to do is meet these. So I can meet them in whatever order I like. So I'm going to choose this diameter. Hold control, choose this, release control, and I'll make those concentric. I don't want to lock it yet, and it's going the right way, so I don't want to flip it. I'll just click in white space here. I'm going to slide it down. I can see it rotates around. That rotation doesn't matter, but I'll stop it. So I'll expand here, and I wanted to choose how it was oriented. That's why I didn't tell SolidWorks with the concentric make to lock rotation. So I'm going to choose the front plane. I'm going to hold control and choose this plate, and I'm going to tell them to make it parallel when I release control. Slide it back here again, and I'm going to rotate around. And now I want to think about, well, whereabouts do I want the part in the collet when I'm done? So essentially, I need a distance mate between these faces. And I need it reasonable. I need to be able to work with things. And I'll probably change it later. So I'm going to zoom in a bit, select this face. Rotate around. I'm going to hold control, select this face, release control, and I'm going to do a distance mate. And for now, I'll make it a quarter inch and say OK. I'll accept that. And now my call it's fully defined. There's no negative side sign beside it. So I'll do the same thing with this. I'm going to select this diameter, hold control, select this diameter, and I'll, again, I'll make them concentric. Happy with that, I can slide it around. So I'll click in white space, I'll select this face, rotate again, hold control, select this face, release it. I'll make those coincident. And that looks good. I don't want to flip the main alignment. And once again, this rotates. So I'm going to expand it. I'll select its front plane, hold control. I can select the assembly front plane, or in this case, the top plane, release control and I'll make those coincident. So it'll rotate around, and we're good. Let's go back and look isometrically. I'm gonna right click and collapse these items. So, so far, everything looks reasonable. This is fixed, this is fixed. So I need to make a plate that's going to hold this. And my next thought is, well, how will this plate attach here? Will it attach to this face, or will this sit on top of my plate? And I would like this to sit on top of the plate I'm about to design. So the first thing I want to do is I want to alter this plate size. I want to alter it so this face and this face are flush. To do that, I'm going to double click on this and its dimensions will come up. So I am see this two inch dimension here, that's what will have to change. So I'm going to select it again and I'm going to tell SolidWorks I would like to edit the part. So I'm editing my part. I'm going to come over here and expand it. Again, I'm going to expand this first feature, and I'm going to edit the sketch. And I'll look normal to it. Again, if I don't like that normal to, just flip it, whichever way you prefer to work. And now that I know where I want this, I don't want this dimension, so I'm going to select it and delete it. What I really want is I want this face here. I'm going to hold Control and select this line. Those are going to be collinear. I'll go back to looking normal too. So that face and the face here are collinear. I'll return and I'll stop editing this part and go back to the isometric view. Now two things will happen. If I change this distance, this plate size will change. And that's fine. So I've got it set up the way I want it. I've got my receiver, my collet, in my part, I'll just go back to isometric view, I've altered this to suit my new needs. And in the next video, we'll actually make the plate.